So this is Roller Coaster Tycoon. It is such a fun game because you get to build your own amusement park and you build roller coasters and water slides and other rides that you see at a, an amusement park and you know also put up the food and drink stalls and the souvenir stalls. And you have different scenarios where um, your goal is to either like have a certain amount of people in the park or reach a money quota. It's, it's so much fun. I love this game so much. Um, and one time I made a Harry Potter park. It was so cool. I wish I still had the screenshots because I had divided it up into four quadrants for each of the houses and I had it color coded and I had it named after like Harry Potter characters and stuff like that. It was really, it was so cool. Um, and this was years before the actual Harry Potter park in Orlando was realized. Uh, yeah, so this game, so much fun. Um, I actually like the original one the best. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yes, Carmen San Diego. I love this game. I love the TV game show. I had two variations of this game. This was the original. I can't find the other one. The other one is a little more updated. Uh, I found Carmen and her other friends pretty fast. I was pretty good at this game. The first time I found Carmen, she was in Sri Lanka. This game is also very educational. I learned a lot about geography from it. So, okay, this is King's Quest Three. It belonged to my brother. I really sucked playing it, um, but it was fun. And so you control the young peasant boy named Gwydion, who is a slave to the evil wizard named Mananin or Manana or whatever. And you, um, you do chores around the house, like feed the chickens, sweep the floor, empty the bedpan. And you would type in the action you wanted to do, and it would do it. And you, so to kill Mananin, you had to find his secret lair that was under his office and brew this complicated potion. And then when he drank it, he would turn into a cat or something. And that made you a free, a free man. So... You could go escape and do your own thing, have your own adventures. But I always had trouble escaping because the house is on top of a cliff and the path is very narrow. There is a huge boulder that blocks a section of the path, so it's very impossible to get down. And you can't see where Gwydion is when he's behind that boulder. So I would always fall off and die. And even when my, my brother helped me and got me down, I would still end up dying because you have to go to the desert to get something and Medusa lived there and I never turned away quick enough and she would turn me into stone so I would die there. So yes, I sucked at this game but it was very fun. Okay, this one is called The Adventures in the Magic Kingdom and it was so much fun. I love this game so much. Um, if I remember right, I think I got it when it was like 9 or 10, and I think my brother and I both bought it together after we had a garage sale, we split our money to pay for it. Um, yeah, so basically the idea is that you're trying to get six keys to open the Magic Kingdom, and so five of the keys you have to go into one of the uh, rides and beat them, and then the last key you just answer trivia question. So like the different rides, there's like a car racing game, which is pretty easy. And then there's the uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, which is, that was fun. Um, and then there's the Haunted Mansion, which I'm not gonna lie, that kind of scared me when I was a kid, okay. And then uh, there was, oh, Space Mountain, where you had to they, they would tell you like which button to push, like up, down, A, B, left, right. So you had to concentrate on that one. And it was really hard because I would get, it was like, made you kind of dizzy because you're looking at all these stars zooming past you. And if you messed up at least three times, you were out of the game. So that one was really hard. But the hardest one was Pirates of the Caribbean because like it was impossible to jump because you had to make some long distant jumps on that one. And I always fell and died. And yeah, I can never beat that one. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. This game is amazing. 
It is my favorite PC slash video game of all time. I first played it when I was 12 years old. I love this game so much. I wish I could play it again, but it's too old to play anymore. It sucks. It originally belonged to my brother, but I would hijack it when he was gone and play it. So you're Indiana Jones and you're controlling him and you're, um, your goal is to get to Atlantis to stop the bad guy from destroying the world. At the bottom of the screen, there are different actions you can control Indy to do, like talk to another character, pick up or put down an object, open or close a door, gate, push or pull on something. In the first part of the game, you're trying to find Plato's Lost Dialogue, so you're just visiting different characters in different locations. You're joined by Sophia Hapgood. She's this woman from Indy's past who knows a lot about Atlantis and Plato's Lost Dialogue, so she's a good tool to use. So once you find the book, you're given three options. You can take the team path where you can continue on with Sophia and she helps you along the way. This is my personal favorite because I love the interactions between the two of them. You can take the fist path and that's where you beat up Nazis along the way. But just make sure to save the game before a fight. And then there's the wits path where you kind of, you're kind of like MacGyver and you have to put things together and just kind of use your brain on how to get out of situations. And then once you get to Atlantis, you go through a huge maze, you beat up Nazis, you make orichalcium, which is this precious metal. You need to operate the ancient Atlantean machinery. You catch crab to feed to an octopus. You have to save Sophia, who's been put in the jail, and she's become possessed by this evil Atlantean spirit. You go across a lava pit, and then you have to stop the bad guy from becoming this evil god and taking over the world. It's a lot of fun. I love this game. Why did they not make this game into a movie? This would have been an awesome movie. It would have been better than Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. And those are my five favorite video slash computer games.